welcome back. Um, in this video, I would like to show you a very short question, uh, but I found it interesting. So I would like to share with you, it also related to the derivative in calculus as well. So let me read the question to you. A cannonball is fired from a large cannon. The trajectory of the cannonball is y equal 3 over 4x minus 0 0.005x squared. Determine the approximate angle of elevation at which the cannonball left the cannon. So how are we going to solve this question? Now, I'm sketching the diagram here. Let's say this is the cannon and then it find a bullet. And then the bullet will go to the sky, travel to the sky, and eventually fall down to the route. So this is the trajectory, right? And like any quadratic function, you know this is a parabola, right? So that's why we have an equation in the uh, form of parabola, quadratic function. And at this point is a maximum level. So the bullets go up at the maximum level, start falling down, right? Um, okay, so how do we answer the angle? Now, usually to find the angle, we relate it to something like content theta, right? We have sine and cos and tangent. Now, in this question, I think that using the tan theta is um, the best, right? So how do we find the tan theta? Now, the tangent, the slope of the tangent line, right? Let's see the bond here, and we measure the slope of tangent line, right? The slope of tangent line decide the, so the slope of tangent line to the trajectory, right? Decide the angle of theta, right? Does that make sense? The slope of a tangent line right here, right? Decides the angle of theta. So what is the slope of tangent line in here? Slope of tangent line is equal to the derivative of this function. So we have y prime equal 3 over 4 x. Sorry, no x, right? Just 3 over 4 minus, bring down the 2 times that, 0 0.01 x. So this is the slope of tangent line, the derivative of this equation, right? Now this slope will decide the angle theta, the angle elevation. Now at this point, when we measure, we say the slope of tangent line equals zero. So um, but let me see. We don't have to find the maximum level of this. So let's think about it for a moment. Where when the bullet left the cannon, it doesn't, it hasn't traveled any distance, right? So the distance horizontal, horizontally here, when it, the bullet left the cannon is zero. So the x, let x be the distance of the bond traveling, right, horizontally. At the, at the beginning, at the time t equals zero, when the, the bond fired a bullet, right? The bullet just left it and doesn't travel anywhere. So the x here equals zero. So let's find out what is the slope is that. So y prime will be equal to three over four. This, if we substitute by zero, zero times anything is zero. So now we, we left with the slope and this slope is equal 10 theta. So now we know 10 theta equal to three over four. So what is the theta equal? Here in the calculator, hit the 10 minus one reverse button, right? Three over four we get the angle of theta will be equal about 36.86, round off become 37 degree. So that's how we answer this question. Okay, 
So this question is not so long and not so complicated, right? So we know that there's a bullet. Let me summarize it, left the cannon and went along with the trajectory in front to the raft. Now the question asks for what is the angle of elevation when it just left the, the bullet, just left the cannon? So this, to find the angle of elevation theta here, we use any side of course of tangent trigonometric, right? Now in this case, we use 10 is uh, the best measurement because we know that they give us the y function equation. Um, if we take derivative of this, we get the slope of a tangent line. And that slope of tangent line will decide the angle theta, okay? So we know that when it jet phi, the bullet jet left, it, its horizontal distance is zero. And we take derivative, which is to find the slope, right? The tangent slope, tan theta, and we substitute the x by zero, we get the slope equal to three over four. So now we know tan theta is three over four. So we use the program already programmed in the calculator, convert this ratio to the angle, we got 37 degree. And that's how we answer this short question. I hope you enjoy it. So thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you.